guys, welcome to my channel. It's Alyssa. So this is the look we're gonna go ahead and do today. It is the Gryffindor house makeup look. So if you wanna learn how to do all of this, stay tuned and let's get started. So if y'all can first of all hear that burning sound or like that crackling kind of sound, it is a little candle and it's uh, maroon colored and the scent is pomegranate and it smells so like nice and sweet. So that's the candle that I have burning. The tea that I have today is jasmine Chinese tea and if y'all can't tell there's a theme going on here with the uh, color scheme I also <laughs> wearing a maroon shirt but it's kind of cold so I had to put on my sweater and of course I had to put on my silver sweater but we're gonna go ahead and do a Gryffindor look what I'm thinking is this look that I saw on Pinterest a few years back and it's like a nice maroon smoky eye but then it has like a gold for the wing or maybe this is something that was just like in my head it looks cute so bear with me. And once again, this is just an eye look, so I'm not gonna do the rest of my face because I just don't want to. So, we're gonna go ahead and start with our primer. I just realized I didn't bring a mirror down here, so we're gonna do this all on here. So we're going in again with our Morphe 37V, yeah, 35V palette. Uh, should I use lashes? Is Gryffindor worth it? We'll see, we'll find out. I'm not sure yet. We're gonna go ahead and go in with our Morphe 35V palette and our Eco Tools brush. And we're just gonna go ahead and start off with a something in the in the crease. We're gonna do like a light-ish maroon kind of color, I guess. So we're gonna start off with our shade, our crease brush. Let's go ahead and take the color Trice, which is this one. We're gonna take Trice and put that in our corner this is gonna this is gonna work all right also in the Ravenclaw video I don't know if y'all saw but I was definitely like kind of like choking the brush I was re-watching that and I was like I should not be up on that brush handle as much as I was this is actually a really nice color without looking like I got punched in the face as these progress and like I find mistakes that I make or whatever I'll go ahead and correct them in the next video or like let y'all know that I've made that mistake but I just wanted to let y'all know that about the Ravenclaw look like, I still think that eye look actually came out pretty cute. And then we're going to go in with a deeper maroon color for the center of the lid. Or not the center, but like the, the lid, pretty much. And we're going to go ahead and take our color Wild Thing. If y'all remember in the Ravenclaw video where I just like randomly started seeing that. So that's Wild Thing. And we're going to go ahead and take that and just pack that all over the lid. Also, because I'm not choking the brush, it just looks like it's a nice gradual blend of wild thing like up, you know, instead of like two different colors because I know how to control my brushes and did not show that in the last video. So sorry, everybody. Anyway, if y'all like the, the house makeup, let me know because I'm really enjoying doing this. I'm just really enjoying like this little Harry Potter series and maybe I should just become like a book channel where I do like fictional book looks and like tell it through a different perspective. But like also I feel like some of my Slytherin perspectives are a little boring, but it's fine. I just need to not be so monotone in like everything that I say, you know? We're also gonna take the color Wild Thing, put that on the bottom of our lid. And I know you're like, what, Alyssa, you didn't do anything to the bottom? No, this is just either too much sleep or lack of sleep. And I really feel like I should know the difference, but I can't. All right, so yeah, Wild Thing is gonna be the one closest to our Eye, and then we're gonna go ahead and do the gradual fade with a different color I'm just really loving the ambiance of today. So there's no rain currently and I know in most of my other videos It's been raining um, but Today it rained in the beginning of the morning and now not as much So it's fine. It's still kind of like gloomy outside though, which is like a nice little like scary movie feel <laughs> All right, anyway, so next I'm still looking ah here it is. Okay, so it is the Beauty Rush Luminous shadow from Victoria's Secret. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take that and do it up in a wing shape and then we're gonna go ahead and take the actual like wing liner and draw it um, on the inside. Let's see how this goes because I haven't done this before. We're all doing this together for the first time Okay like that isn't that isn't that bad guys. So let's go ahead and do it to the other side and see if it turns out the same. 
Okay, so this eye is a little bit, I don't know if y'all can tell, this one is thicker than this one. But that's okay. I feel like these looks are just going by faster and faster than I expected them to. Taking our Tarte Precision Longwear Liner, we're gonna go ahead and make a little wing and see how this turns out. Oh, great, and um, now there's gold on my thing, yeah. Ooh, fun. To the other eye. <laughs> you know what, that didn't turn out as bad as I thought. Like, this actually turned out pretty cute. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and take our lash primer, which is actually a blue tint. You put it under your regular mascara, or like you put it on before your regular mascara. So, I'm not used to like brushes that are that thin. Like that looks like a green screen, it's so blue. I mean, it's like those thick ones, you know? I'm gonna put it on the bottom as well, because like I just said, always doing the bottom too. So I like to do, while it's still wet, going in with our mascara. So once again, taking the Clinique Lash Doubling Mascara. Oh, okay. That actually turned out kind of cute, guys. And the bottom. And then I think I'm also gonna add some gold on the bottom. To the other side. Okay, I feel like my left eye looks better than my right, with the mascara at least. Like I said, we are gonna do a little bit of, um, again we're gonna go ahead and take the gold color and put that on the bottom to like kind of add a slight line I guess we're gonna go in with our Sephora um, duo eyeshadow it's golden pink number 10 is what this duo or whatever is called okay so taking the gold one on the bottom here and we're gonna go ahead and add that gold onto the bottom here not totally sure yeah it shows up a bit okay I don't know with like the gold and black feel I kind of feel like Cleopatra almost you know final result you really can't tell that the gold is on there but we're gonna go ahead and add it to the other side did y'all see that squirrel running across cuz I did hey. Natalie yeah. what time is it you're out of school already it's 2 46 Hmm. I didn't see that one coming. Anyway, I'm doing a Gryffindor look. What do you think of it so far? It looks really cute. Also, I Thank love you. your, um, you know, thinking it's the middle of the day activities. <laughs> Thanks. Since it's October, we're gonna say this video is haunted with so many spooky um, interruptions, all mainly involving the door. Closing window. Hi, Hi, Grandma. Hey, I want to do. see when you put. Oh, that's fine. Huh? I want to see when you put. Oh, this is what I'm doing. I'm just gonna yeah, add on the eyelashes right now. If you want the video to be spooky, I can make a spooky watch. There's a ghost, everybody. <laughs> anyway, so you take this, and then you see the little strip here? Mm hmm. You put glue? Mm hmm. You put glue in your eyes? Yep. It goes on the lid to make you get. More lashes. This is the cost of beauty, have, Grandma. Do you have beauty? Oh, man. Aw, <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. You wanna get in this video too, Grandma? Here, come closer so the camera can see you. Okay, now everybody's here. All right. Do you like my earrings? They're crosses. I don't know if you can I see saw them. you wearing those last night. Can you hold this up in front of me like that? Thank you. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and take our lashes. So you put the lash glue on here, and now it's kind of tacky. I have a job. Mm-hmm. And then you put it Right so how over. You put it on, you know that, right? This is how I put them on. Okay. So mine, really? <laughs> it's grande. Oh, I'm so the sorry. I yeah. literally. Hit. Mm -hmm. Anyways, that's correct. She put it on her eyelashes instead of the like. Don't you cut your part? Huh? You own. You remove what it. it. So then we take there. the mascara again. Otra vez. You. I should have not put on mascara. First. So that's it with. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you want me to do the other one now? Sure. So now we have my eyelash specialist technician, Natalie. Yeah, they look natural. They look natural. Oh, oh thank you. Okay. Quite natural looking. Mm -hmm. Who is she? Oh, oh my gosh! gosh. <laughs> <Don't hurt me. laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Oh I could have jumped her eyelash. We could have been in a mustache. <laughs> yeah, I think she put, you, I did it. Oh my god. 
You're not supposed to be tugging the bottom. I'm trying that to see if they're connected. You said, are they connected? So I'm trying no. to see. No. Oh, they look nice. Potato queen. So that is it for the eye look. I hope y'all like that. And this is actually my first time, first time on camera at least, doing false lashes. So yeah, let me know how I did. Rude. I did come in here, come in my channel and insult me like this. I did them for you. I did them for you. Does this sound familiar? Anybody watch the uh, the watermelon video? <laughs> What, what about the <laughs> where mom was like, she was like, why are you even making this? And I was like, I was like, I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for you. You ready to see the color of the lips turn out, Nelly? It's a Gryffindor look, so. Why can't you do Ravenclaw? I did Ravenclaw first. Go watch it. So we're gonna go ahead and take this ultraviolet color from Elizabeth Arden, which is, oh, like, honestly, guys, I've used it a lot, so like the whole thing isn't there, but it's beautiful. We're gonna take this and put it on our lips. I feel like if I just do a dark lip on top and nothing on the bottom, I look like, you know how Kim Possible has the dark top lip? <laughs> this is, I don't actually know what brand this is. It's probably brandless because it smells like Play-Doh, but it looks so nice. That is the makeup for Gryffindor. I feel like every look is ending with a dark lip. So Hufflepuff is next, and you will not have a dark lip. You will be the sun shiniest, brightest house. I promise you that. That's it for the Gryffindor makeup look. Let's go to the outfit. Subscribe to. Don't tell me you're recording. Dance, Alyssa, dance. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. It's fine. I think it's not stop to pee. There's his dog again. Okay. My sexy sister. And then stand. We have to do your makeup down. Oh my god. This is your idea. Ready? Hi. Hey, how are you Good. Good. Okay. Ready? Oh, his dog's name is Zoe. That's so adorable. God help her. For only five cents a day, you can help this poor child. I do. If you give me ten cents, I could really do something. No boobs. <laughs> okay guys so if y'all were wondering about earlier there's a really really hot neighbor that walks his dog all the time and he's so attractive both him and then the dog is just the cutest thing in the world anyway this is my outfit i just chose a gold and white kind of shirt and then a very simple maroon kind of skirt to be all gryffindor colors okay, okay. stop recording stop recording